say it's like I wanted to be striking the right balance between um, something that had uh, the look of an authentic medieval map and something that was also um, was also itself, which is to say a, a product of um, like me and my skills and um, my expertise. Emma Steinkraus received her BA in Studio Arts in 2010 from Williams College. In 2015, she received her MA in Painting from the University of Iowa. She is creating a map of England for remappings. I mean, I think one thing that you and I talked about a lot was trying to get a sense of visual density, like the, I would say like the goth map and then the Matthew Paris maps are the two maps that I felt were, um, most like closely aligned or most useful on this project though I probably little bits and pieces of the final map that I've done I've been inspired by probably like close to a hundred different um, illuminated manuscripts and maps so you know I, I, I worked with maybe five or six different medieval maps and then pulled um, sort of marginalia and like uh, little little decorative elements from you know maybe 80 or so different illuminated manuscripts in winter 2016 emma began work on the map experimentation with paper and visual techniques produced a beautiful yet somewhat faded map with a large coffee stain that mimicked the aging process working here on a second more vivid and detailed map of england Emma relies on an image of her first map. After aging her paper and creating landscape features and decorative elements, Emma turns to depicting place icons. She begins with a pencil sketch. The next thing that I'm using are a couple of different uh, nibbed, just like speedball nibbed pens and some India ink, um, brown India ink, and somewhere there's maybe a little bit of actual walnut ink um, for the different inked lines. And I am trying to vary their width a little bit, so um, like the exterior line, the outline on the map is um, like a a heavier line than, say, the lines I'm using on the interior for the details. So you can see there's a big difference between uh, the, the sort of width of this line and the width of those lines. And some of that's just varying my pressure and some of that's varying my nib.
And then um, for the colors, I used a base coat of three colors that I tried to match as closely as I could to the goth map. And so um, that's a sap green watercolor, a crimson alizarin watercolor, and an ultramarine light. Um, and then in addition to these colors, I have just a small palette of, um, messy palette of watercolors that I've used whenever I felt like I um, needed a shade that I couldn't get. So for the, some of the browns and the mountains and boats are, um, you know, just a sort of traditional ochre or sienna or umber. When I was looking at the medieval maps themselves was an inked line with a transparent layer of color over it. And one of the reasons you want that transparency is so that the inked line shows through so that um, the ink line isn't obscured by the paint. I want this to be like um, truly researched, like a product of like rigorous visual research, but not something that's uh, like masquerading too much as something that it isn't.